everybody, welcome to Bunky's Workshop. I am Bunky, and I had a delivery today, and I think I know what this is. I'm hoping it is what I was looking for, but if not, we'll find out what it is, and we'll review it, okay? Let's pop this sucker open. So it looks like we got tape on both ends. Feels kind of light for what I've been looking for, but we're going to find it. And it is what I was hoping it was going to be. It's just packaged in a way I didn't think it was going to be packaged. Yeah. <laughs> it's like giving birth, huh? Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Now, before I reveal what it is, let me get this mess cleaned up real quick. I have never seen this kind of packaging before. But it kind of looks like It forms to whatever they're putting in the box. Anyway. Just in case it doesn't work, I can ship that sucker back. All right. we go so you ask what is it can you tell <sighs> this is a mini portable uh, dishwasher that now back where I was at dog started barking we had a delivery again so here we go this is a portable dishwasher that we wanted for the uh, RV and uh, we had purchased one before um, at our old house for the old RV and it doesn't fit this uh, particular RV so anyway here it is let's get it out of its bag scissors Try not to scratch it. I don't know, Ruppy. You're off the hook today. It's a little moist in this packaging, and I know that they pre-test these with water, but uh, Okay, so there it is. That's the front, and uh, let's see how we can do this where we all can look at it together. Wow, it does look better in person than what it did online. Uh, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop this up in our kitchen. So we could take a look at it, at, you know, a little bit closer than here in the living room. Back in a second. Okay, here we are. So it's unboxed, and I have it sitting here on my kitchen counter. And the first thing we're going to do is a quick measurement. 
And so it is about 18 inches tall. It's about 17 wide and it's about 17 deep. So as you can see, it's very close to get, I mean, it fits under my ca uh, cabinet, but barely. So uh, you do have two choices. You can hook this up with this, which it does, they do give this to you so you can hook it up to your kitchen faucet, or you can fill it on the very top and it takes about two and a half to three pitchers of water to fill up so that you don't have to hook it up to your kitchen sink. That's why I wanted this model, so when we put it in the RV, I can't hook it up to my sink. But we don't have a cabinet above, and it will fit right on the countertop, and we could use it in the RV. And it's very portable, you can take it anywhere. So right now, I've put in three pitchers, and it does come with this. It took three of these to fill this up, okay? And I hooked up the drain hose, which has a suction cup on it. <coughs> Sorry about that. And it hooks right into your kitchen sink. And when you open it, the light turns on. And uh, you have to be careful because this is a normal size dinner plate. And it, you have to kind of finagle on how you want to fit it. But the dinner plate is an 11 inch dinner plate and it barely fits. So I stuck it in here and you have to kind of like lean it forward for it to fit. If you try to sit it upright, um, it doesn't work. So they have to kind of lean forward. And uh, inside you have your bottom spray arm. You do have a top spray arm. You put this on the side here. In the bottom here, you have the one part that, uh, you know, in case you put a lot of, you know, dirty dishes in here with a lot of big debris, this comes out to be clean. And then the main mesh screen comes out to be clean, which is nice. And that just screws right back in. Right here, it has a little tiny uh, reservoir, if you will, so that you can put in your dish detergent, okay? The rack itself, You do have a utensil holder, okay? You can use it with all the, the uh, pre-made slots so that you can, so that you can put in your knives, forks, and spoons, or this does come off and you could just throw them in there like that, whichever you prefer. And that clips right back on. And it has a little clip here on the sides that when you put it in, it can clip on the side and it stays steady, sturdy, if you will. You do have this little ledge here so that you can put coffee cups or other things that you want that are small to give you extra storage. So I'm just going to turn it on just to see how it works. There you go. Now, this, the modes that come with this are dry. You have a setting that you can do dry. Normal mode is 69 minutes. Speed mode, 29 minutes. Eco is 59 minutes. Baby care heavy is 89 minutes. And then you have a fruit mold, mode, which it comes with this basket. So that you could put grapes, fruit, you know, whatever you want, tomatoes or whatever you need that it'll sanitize them for you. Or you can put other things in here, whatever you want. It comes with that. I'm going to do the speed mode, which is 29 minutes. I've already put in my three pitchers of water. I've already hooked up my drain hose on the back and we are ready to go. I just want to give this a quick test run and let's see what happens.
Okay, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's it's loading the water. Man, that is quiet. Wow. That is quiet. Okay, that upper spray arm is going pretty fast. Okay, I have a few dirty dishes here in the sink. I'm gonna load them in and see what happens and I'll bring it back, so. Pause. The water's already hot. I'll be darned. So what I have is I have a glass. I have a coffee mug. And I have some Tupperware. As you can see, it's got all kinds of crap in there. I'm gonna put that in. What else do I have? Let's just take a look. So, this morning I had a cup of coffee, so I had a spoon. I'm gonna put that in there. And where's my coffee cup from this morning? I don't think I washed it yet, did I? I don't think I did. What did I do with it? Oh, duh, I've already put it in, that's why. But, all right, it's only a couple of items. I'm gonna put in a little bit of detergent. And we have the powdered Cascade. I'm only gonna put a little bit in because these are not that dirty. It's a very tiny machine. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, I'll bring you back when this thing is done. Talk to you soon. Okay, it is still running. It's only been running about 10 minutes. But I wanted to see what it's doing in there. Very quiet. Okay, I will bring it back when we're done. Okay, it just finished. Let's take a look. Well, they are dripping wet. And they're hot. Woo! But you know, they are clean. Now, let's see, what is it saying at the top? It just says it's complete. Okay, so it is flashing, it is now in a dry mode. And if I hear, I hear like a little fan running, so I think it's drying them now. but it's showing flashing dry mode 59 minutes. So I guess at this point you could take, leave it open and let them air dry or let them continue to do what it's doing by drying it on its own. But it only took a couple of minutes. It washed very well and it was very quiet. So uh, 
give me a couple seconds and I'm going to take this out to the RV and set it up there and I'll let you see what it looks like. Back in a second. Okay everybody, here we are. We are in the RV and you're looking towards the kitchen. And uh, this is the uh, Hava portable dishwasher as we've been speaking about. And as I promised, um, I would show you how we have it in our RV. So I'll try to pan around. Pardon me if I'm a bit shaky, but I don't have my tripod with me. But um, so here's our front door. There's our TV and it starts the uh, kitchen. And as you look down, it's kind of messy. We just, we just got in from shopping and so forth. But as you can see, it goes on down to the refrigerator. So that's all the countertop and the kitchen sink. Okay, and of course we have the portable dishwasher. Now, what's great about this dishwasher, as I've been saying, is you can hook this up. It does come with the hose to hook it up. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. You can hook this up to the kitchen sink. It comes with that attachment. However, in this situation, um, I don't want to take, if you can see, if I'll pan this around just a little bit, we have the uh, gooseneck faucet, which has the, the sprayer on it, and I don't want to take that off. It is very handy to have, um, but I'm wanting to use this in the camper because you can fill this up. It takes about three pitchers of water to fill up. And I've used this a couple of times now and it works wonderfully um, and it's very quiet. So in this particular campsite that we're in, we do not have sewage. We only have electric and water hookup. So when you're trying to not use a lot of water on board so you don't have to empty your tanks, doing dishes, taking showers and that kind of stuff, you kind of limit a little bit. So uh, with the dishwasher, it's nice that we could do our breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know, throughout the day, fill this up, and then at night, run it one time. And that saves, you know, a lot of water. So I'm just going to show you real quick on uh, um, filling it up with water and setting it and starting it. So let me get off this. Might be a little shaky. I'm sitting on the couch. But anyway, so you take this top part off. And you fill up your little pitcher that it comes with, with water. So you keep filling it up with your water until you hear it beep at you. When it beeps at you, that means it is the water reservoir is full. So that is one. say it's very easy to fill. I thought this would make a mess and splatter, but uh, it does very well. So it's beeping at me saying it's full. So I've already ran it today because we already did our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I have in here two knives, two forks, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some clean dishes in here just to put in here. But we have two drinking glasses. And two bowls, like two water um, glasses, two bowls like we've had for uh, breakfast. And then we normally have our cup of coffee. And let's just say we have a plate. Whoops, I forgot. So your plates, you have to put on an angle. Mm, excuse me, I don't know what I had for... So, there you go. I think I'm going to skip the plate. <laughs> I already put all these bowls in here. Anyway, remember when you put your plates in, they have to kind of be on an angle. If they're the regular size dinner plates, they kind of have to be on an angle or they hit the top. But anyways, this little shelf here, you can put um, little things on there. And I found that our minute, that our small cups do fit on there. Because we have the large coffee cups and then we have the uh, small coffee cups. But I think it fits about three of them. Let's see if that closes. Yep. So we have six coffee mugs, two cereal bowls, two water um, glasses, and some silverware in the back. But uh, you load it up. Now you have to put just a tiny bit of automatic dish detergent, which I'm using Cascade here, but you only need a little bit, but there's a place right here for it. And you close it. Make sure this is closed. Now we've been doing the speed wash, which is about 29 minutes and it's been doing fine. And then it kind of goes into a drying uh, cycle. But uh, you make sure your power is on. And you hit start. And it runs a cycle. And I have the hose draining into the sink. There you go. It's very quiet and all the dishes have been coming out clean. So I'll turn out all the lights so you can kind of see what it looks like. That's kind of what we saw last night. we were watching TV. So I'll pick you up. Sorry if it's going to be a little shaky, but I'll pick you up and I'll get you closer. The light went out and it's still running. Okay, I'll put you back down. Whoops, there we go.
So this is probably my sixth or seventh time using this and um, I'm impressed. It's been quiet, it's been efficient. Um, I'm kind of getting used to loading it. Uh, putting in the dishes, sometimes you have to be a little bit creative, uh, but I'm getting used to that. You know, of course it's not a full size dishwasher. Uh, so I'm getting used to using it here on the, uh, the RV. Uh, but it is very nice that as we dirty dishes throughout the day, we just keep loading it. And then at night while we're sitting down to watch TV, uh, I just hit start and it does its thing. And it's so quiet, you really don't know it's, it's running. It is strange. The dogs will sit here on the couch with me. And I don't know if they're watching the dishwasher or if they're watching TV. But um, there you go. Let's see if I can focus in a little bit more for you. but it is very quiet. Uh, and again, this is the speed cycle, which is about 29 minutes. Once that's done, it automatically goes into like a 60 minute drying cycle, which um, twice I've stopped it and I just open the door and let them air dry. But on the right side of the dishwasher has a fan. So when it goes into the drying cycle, you kind of hear that fan uh, it's quiet, but you can hear the fan running, and on the right side is a is an air port, and you feel the hot air coming out of it. But so far, um, I'm really liking this thing. Now I have another one, but it's um, by Hire, um, and it's just a little bit bigger. And we used to use that in our other RV, but because it was bigger and you have to have it hooked up to your kitchen sink, you can't do like this one and fill it from the top. Um, it really didn't fit here. And then I saw a video on this one and it really did get some uh, good ratings and it fits on this RV and you don't hook to have to hook it up to plumbing. I thought perfect. So this is its first, well, let's see. This is the second time I've used it uh, on board. I used it uh, this morning and I'm doing it now for your video. I wanted to do it with the dirty dishes and totally forgot that I promised you a video on this. And I hit the start and walked away and Matthew's like, aren't you supposed to be videoing this for your people? And I said, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. So I apologize, but you're getting to see it running with clean dishes. And uh, I guess I can show you, you can pause it and open it and add and take things out and, you know there's not a problem as soon as you close it it starts back up it's very user friendly uh, I don't know what else to say about it if you have any comments questions or ideas put them down below in the question section I'll do my best to answer them and also as usual I thank you for coming along and watching my videos I hope this helps you out please think about subscribing to my channel I would greatly appreciate that Maybe give it a thumbs up and ring that bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Okay, again, thanks for coming along, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye for now.